Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for visiting. It's Sunday morning, so happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I thought I would come on and share a couple projects that I worked on last night. Uh, so let me go ahead and share the products that I use and then I'll share my cards with you. So the first set that I used is Saint Nick and this was my recently released set from Whippersnapper Designs. You can find them at whippersnapperdesigns.com um, and I'll put a link down below for you. But um, this is my new set, one of my new sets for Whippersnapper for the Christmas season. So it's got Saint Nick, it's got a background set um, stamp here that's just text. Not something you would necessarily want to read or use as a sentiment, but just something to add interest to the background. There's a little 25 icon here, a uh, greenery, um, a little puff prim star, and then a sentiment here that says Merry Christmas. So sorry, mine is a, a little <laughs> worn out. Let me show you a new one here. I do have a, a new clean set that hasn't been used. So that's what the set looks like. And then I also used my new um, messy ledger and this is a new stamp that I've released with whippersnapper designs recently as well and this is a five and a half by five and a half inch stamp and it is a of course messy ledger so it's got the numbers down each side it's got ledger lines and then it has lots of distressing to make the ledger um, less than pristine so I used that one and then I also used a piece of paper from um, my Distressed Snowflakes paper collection. This was one that I did with IO, and um, it's not available from them any longer, but you might be able to find it through uh, maybe like Frantic Stamper or maybe even Simon Says Stamp, um, but I'm not sure. So, uh, or maybe you already have it in your stash and you'd like to pull it out and use it. So that is uh, the paper that I used. And then I also used this stamp set from Close to My Heart. It's called Frosty Friends and it's number D1073. I bought this on eBay a couple years ago. Um, one thing I noticed about this stamp set though is it's really sticky. So if you guys have other uh, Close to My Heart sets, can you let me know if this is normal? Um, it's really, you can hear, hear the sound. Um, it's really gummy, like, it's just weird. Um, and it's sticky, sticks to my fingers. Um, but you can see it's almost like, I don't know, fruit roll-ups or something. I don't know. It's very, very bizarre. I've never felt a stamp like this before. Um, and unfortunately, as I was using it, I noticed that the person who had it before me probably had issues with it too because uh, they pulled the foot off of the larger image here. So I had to really carefully piece that one back together. And then also the M at the end of warm here on the sentiment um, is also torn off as well into a little a little tiny piece so unfortunately it's damaged but you know I made it work so but it's just, it's uh I don't know it's real sticky and weird but so there's that so if you guys um have close to my heart sets can you let me know if this is normal because if it is I I won't you know look for other another one to buy but I might actually replace this one if this is not not normal so it's it's really weird <laughs> <laughs> but the stamps are so cute. It has a really fun little snowflake image up here at the top. And it has some little icons here. Uh, it has a really cute little sweater and some mittens. And then, of course, I think the sentiment is fun as well. It says, wishing you a warm nose and toasty toes. And then I love this little trio of images here. And then there's a little border with the star, bird, mittens, and tree. And then the large Im image, of course, is really cute, as well as this little companion snowman. And then there's also a two from and a bobble. So it's a really cute set. Um, interesting that they also made this into a stamp. The number. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But um, anywho, let me know if this is normal um, for close to my heart sets. I, I can't imagine, but I don't know what would have happened to this to make it so sticky. So there's that. So those are the uh, products that I used. I also used a few little odds and ends. Uh, so I did use some Jelly Roll glaze pens. And um, you might 
use the regular Jelly Roll ones, which is just a gel ink, um, but these are a 3D glaze. So when you use them um, on your projects, you can when they dry, you can actually feel um, the raised texture that they leave. So I did use uh, the black one and the clear one. And I did use the red one on a portion of my card, but you can't really see it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> So, and I'm keeping these on my desk here in this cute little mug that my friend Carol D sent to me for Christmas a couple years ago. Isn't it adorable? It was made by a local artist in her area. So I think it's just as cute as can be. And it does a perfect job of holding my, um, my glaze pens here on my desk. It usually has a few other odds and ends, of, ends, and, and, odds and ends in it as well, but I took them out um, for the video. And then let's see, I also used a piece of holly that I have die cut um, and stored in this little candy tin. Um, this is just a collection of um, assorted die cuts that I have in here, holly, little branches, there's some pumpkins, um, there's a couple little bows, and um, just odds and ends that I keep here on my desk um, so that if I want something on my project uh, that's, you know, like a little holly. I don't have to go die cut one all the time. So I've got this on my desk here for, for that. Oh, and I should mention, um, the ones that I did use are these. And they are an old Martha Stewart punch. Um, so I use these quite a bit on projects, especially this, this time of year. So I used some of that. And then of course I used my um, tracing wheel for faux stitching and a couple odds and ends I'll mention. So I'll go ahead and start with this card first. Uh, so this is one that I made using the Close to My Heart Snowman set. And uh, I colored the images um, on the ca two cards that you're gonna see here with colored pencil. And colored pencil always takes me forever to do. Um, but I just kinda wanna sit down last night and spend some time relaxing. And, and so I thought colored pencil would be a really nice medium to choose just because it does it is so calming if you if you've ever used colored pencils before. Um, I'm sure that's probably why they're most popular with um, people who like to color in adult coloring books. A lot of people will use colored pencil. Um, I can understand why it's a very calming <laughs> process. So um, I did use colored pencil on this. They are stamped in a Versafine Claire ink on a vis um, a vellum bristol cardstock. Uh, so I find that that cardstock works really well for pencils. Um, the cardstock that I have is just 65 pound, and it's you. I'd be surprised it's even as heavy as 65 pound cardstock that we would use for cards. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find some heavier weight um, paper, vellum paper. But um, it is a Bristol paper, and it has a little bit of texture to it, so that work, is why it works so well with uh, pencils. So once I had them stamped, I started coloring them and I started with this guy and he turned out pretty cute. And then I moved on to this guy and he turned out pretty cute. And then I moved on to this guy and I went a little heavy handed with the blue. So this guy's really, 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 really cold. And I didn't want to <laughs> abandon the coloring that I had already done. So I just went with it. Um, so he, he just has to be really super cold. <laughs> uh, the sentiment down there at the front, um, on the front is the one that's in that stamp set, the uh, Close to My Heart set. And then I also used the Snowflake stamp in the set and just really faintly stamped snowflakes behind them. And I used the white gel pen to add a little few dots here and there. Um, and also you can see the outline of the images um, is kind of raised and um, shiny. That's the clear Jelly Roll pen. So I used the black one to highlight their eyes, and then I used the white one on the middle of that one's sweater on their cheeks, and then in some of the snowflakes. So that's where I used the, the clear white and black jelly roll pins on this particular card. Um, I On the background here of this piece of paper, I stamped the messy ledger, um, but I turned it vertical instead of horizontal. So that was a kind of a different way to make the ledger stamp um, look like a different stamp on this card just by turning it a different direction. And then I did add a little piece of um, black cardstock here and set a little heart brad um, there just for something different. So I think this turned out really cute, even though I've got a freezing snowman here. Uh, the inside of this one is blank yet. Um, since I used the sentiment from the set on the front, I'll have to find something else to put on the inside. Um, but then the back of this one, I stamped the companion snowman. And you can see I colored it with color pencil too, and then added the uh, clear glaze pen around um, all the highlights 
of the drawing so he looks shiny. And then I stamped a little flurry of snowflakes in the background. So I signed my name and that was it for that card. Well, it, it also got a really good spritz of glitter, which I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see the sparkle, but it's super sparkly. <laughs> so there is that. So that's my first card to share with you. My second card uses Saint Nick and um, I stamped him on some watercolor paper using the same uh, VersaFine Claire ink. And I wouldn't normally use color pencils on watercolor paper, but this is a, a fairly low tooth watercolor paper, so I thought I would give it a try, and I think it turned out so nice. I might actually do it again. Um, I, I like that you can still see some of the paper through the coloring, um, but you know, it's got a little more texture than, than a normal paper that you would use for colored pencil, but I think it turned out really nice. Um, so I added a little bit of uh, Distress ink to the edges of the watercolor paper just to kind of knock back the brightness a little bit. And then I added this really beautiful uh, gold glittered cardstock. This is from an American Crafts set of glittered uh, note cards. Um, and I was buying those at Tuesday morning when they were still open. Anytime I would find a packet of those note cards, I would buy them. So that's why I use them so sparingly. There's, it's such a pretty color and um, I use them so sparingly. But uh, there you can see in the top, you can see the holly uh, punch that I used. That was that old Martha Stewart punch. And then of course, just a cute little twine bow that goes all the way around the front of the front panel, uh, but it doesn't go around, of course, the inside of the card. The paper here that I used is the Distressed Snowflake, and there's no extra stamping on there at all. That um, design that you see is, uh, and the print you see up here is actually part of the paper design. So I thought the color was perfect for Santa's coat. So, um, and then I also used the white gel pen uh, to accent the eyes on both Saint Nick and the Little Ginger, and then I used the white gel pen to accent his cheeks, um, and then Saint Nick's cheeks as well. So I think this card turned out so fun. I love how the colored image turned out. So, and then of course I gave it a good spritz of glitter, which you're probably not going to be able to see, but it's shiny, sparkly, and fun. I love it. On the inside, I stamped Merry Christmas and the little puff heart. <laughs> I don't know why I always call it a heart. It's a star, Anna. <laughs> and then on the back, I did the 25 icon, signed my name, and just added a little strip of paper that was left. And this side got um, spritzed with glitter, too, so it's also sparkly. So those are my two cards to share with you today. I hope you enjoy your Sunday. Get some crafting time in. Enjoy the weather. It's supposed to rain here, so I don't know how much outside activities I'll be able to do, but I'm sure I'll get out there at some point. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you're inspired, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!